Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions with another short video demonstrating some basic functionality of Keyscape LandCAD. Uh, today I'm going to go over some of the uh, core ribbon here and some drawing setup. Uh, I have a uh, basic little pocket park loaded here. Uh, I believe this drawing is in metric, so it might be a good demonstration of uh, how to rescale. As you can see, uh, yes, this drawing is in meters right now. If this was a new drawing, I was starting from scratch. Uh, this is where I would set uh, the units that I want to draw in. Uh, you know, feet for most landscape architects in the U.S., uh, maybe inches if you're working in an architectural scale. Uh, once you have, you know, settings such as that, uh, some other style settings you can, you can uh, set up as default as well. Once you have those defaults the way you like them, you have the option to save them here as a set drawing setup file. Uh, here you can store several different drawing setup files for different projects, different locations, different needs. Um, but I want to rescale this one. So I'm going to click on feet and then hit rescale. And what's this going to do is unlock and unfreeze all of my layers, grab all of my blocks. Everything in my drawing is going to be rescaled to feet. Uh, it's a great way to do it. Uh, less risk of um, you know, damaging your file or, or, or forgetting to grab something than if you try to do this manually. And as you can see, if I do a distance command here, let's just see how wide this is. So this is approximately a six foot wide walk, which is appropriate for um, uh, a walk drawn in feet. Some other settings that might be relevant for um, users in the U.S. or users in different parts of the world wanting to change units. Um, here in the data type manager, you can see I'm in feet now, so everything, uh, linear density, area densities, and feet squared, that's all correct. If I go down to pricing, this is where we change, um, we can change units for if we uh, want to have pricing included in our plant schedules. So I want to make sure those are set to um, dollars for this uh, example. And then another setting that people often like to um, change or make custom is under Softworks and go down to um, number of plants. Uh, by default we have a suffix after the number so for example if you have five plants it's going to say 5 NO on your um, specification and on your schedule. If you don't like seeing that, you'd rather just be blank, just delete that, hit OK. As you can see, our default specification style uh, removed that suffix. Um, if I inserted a schedule here, you can see that this, there is no suffix after uh, the quantity here. If I wanted to add that back, I could just go back to core uh, data type manager here and uh, change that back. Again, all these settings you can customize and then save as a default and have several of those kind of um, presets ready for different types of projects.